Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's crack on with this material. So I already have my object loaded and selected and I've already applied a principled BSDF shader to it. I'm in the shading tab and I'm going to enable viewport shading. So the first thing that I'm going to add by pressing shift A is a layer weight node. I'm going to keep the blend setting to 0.5. I'm then going to add a glass shader. I'm going to change the roughness to 0.2 and the index of refraction to 1.309. I'm going to press shift D to duplicate that and bring it down. For the roughness on this one, I'm changing it to 0.75 and leaving the index of refraction as it is. To mix all of these three together, I'm going to grab a mix shader. And the Fresnel is going to go into the factor, top glass into top shader, bottom glass into bottom shader. Now I'm actually going to remove the principled BSDF and just plug this straight into the surface of the material output. So you can see already we've got a very translucent or transparent material. But there's a couple of extra bits that I need to do. First is to apply a bump node, Oop, not nump, you numpty, bump. And I'm going to copy that as well, or duplicate it. For the top one, I'm setting the strength to 0.15. And for the bottom one, the strength at 0.65. This top one, I'm going to plug into the top glass normal. This bottom one, I'm actually going to plug into both the layer weight and also the normal of the bottom glass. Then going to add a noise texture. And plug this into the height of both bump nodes. I'll leave it set at 3D, change the scale to 1.5, the detail to 7.5, and the roughness to 0.6. <coughs> Excuse me. The distortion I'm going to put at 0.5, and then I'm going to press Ctrl T to add a mapping and texture coordinate, and I will change this to object. Now just one tiny little change, the top glass shader. I'm going to just apply a tiny bit of color. So let's say a 0.5 on the hue and a point, um, 0.175 on the saturation. So you can see it's got sort of a, a density about it now. Now 
one other change is in the render properties. I'm actually going to increase my maximum samples to 4000. If your machine can't handle it, go with 1000. I'm also going to change the light bounces to a total of 12, the transmission to 12, and the transparency to 6. And then what I'm going to do is send that to render. And there we go, there's our thick ice procedural shader. We've got a nice level of density, we've got translucency, transparency, refraction, everything going on there. I did notice, however, after about uh, two and a half thousand samples, things sped up dramatically, so I'm assuming there wasn't really much gain in cranking it up so much, so that's worth noting. Anyway, Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching.